سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبوس الدموع أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شالي صدري ويسيلي أمري وحلو لقدتين من لساني يفقل قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss fasting and its benefits. In this video, we will talk about what is fasting, what is the purpose of fasting, what are the benefits of fasting, why do we fast in Ramadan, what is the night of decree. In the end, there is a quiz. I request all of you to please participate in that quiz. So what is fasting? Fasting is abstaining from food and drink for a period of time. It is mentioned in Sahih al-Muslim, hadith number 16C, narrated by Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Islam is raised on five pillars, testifying that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger, the establishment of prayer, payment of zakat, Hajj and fast of Ramadan. So these are the five pillars of Islam. And fasting in Ramadan is one of them. The Ramadan is derived from the word Ramad, which means burning or ash. It is a month of burning the sins and turning them into ash or ashes. What is the purpose of fasting? It is mentioned in Quran chapter 2 verse 183. O you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may become righteous. So the purpose of fasting is to become righteous. Righteousness means fear of God and God consciousness. So when we are fasting, we become extra conscious that God is watching us and we do not do anything which will displease God. In this way, fasting will make us more righteous. So the idea here is to gain the righteousness from fasting and apply it in our daily lives so that if we do so, it will make us a better person and a better Muslim. What are the benefits of fasting? There are both physical and spiritual benefits of fasting. Spiritual benefits include moral and social benefits as well. We will focus more on the spiritual benefits. Uh, physically, we know that when we are fasting, it gives rest to our body, which is good for our physical health. But what are the spiritual benefits of fasting? We will talk about those. In Quran, chapter 33, verse 35, in this verse, God Almighty mentioned several qualities or several benefits. And in the middle of this verse, he also mentioned about fasting. Fasting, we already discussed that it is a pillar of Islam. So the reason why fasting is mentioned in the middle of this verse is that all these benefits or all these qualities can be achieved through fasting. And we will discuss one by one. So uh, when we are fasting, it makes us righteous. And when we apply that righteousness in our daily life, we become better Muslim. Fasting makes us obedient to Almighty God because we fast only for the sake of Almighty God. Fasting teaches us truthfulness due to fear of God and God consciousness. Fasting makes us patient. It also makes us humble. When we are fasting, when we are abstaining from food and drink, naturally we'll think about those people who are less fortunate, who do not have anything to eat and drink. For them, every day is like a fasting day for the whole year. So when we think about those people, it makes us humble and it also teaches us empathy and we become more thankful to Almighty God for whatever favors He has given us. So the next step is we do some action to help those people. So fasting makes us more charitable. Out of all the months in the whole year, Ramadan is the month where maximum charity is given. So it means there is a strong connection between fasting and charity. 
fasting makes us modest due to self control when we are fasting we remember almighty god more as compared to when we are not fasting fasting and it is mentioned at the end of this verse that almighty god has prepared forgiveness and a great reward so we can achieve the forgiveness of almighty god with the help of fasting and we can get a great reward forgiveness means saving from the hell fire and a great reward means paradise so fasting keeps us away from the hell fire and makes us near to the paradise so these are the 10 spiritual benefits of fasting so why do we fast in ramadan it is mentioned in sahih al bukhari hadith number 4680 narrated by ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu when prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam arrived at madina the jews were observing the fast on ashura that is 10th of muharram and they said this is a day when moses peace be upon him became victorious over pharaoh on that prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said to his companions you have more right to celebrate moses victory so observe the fast on this day this shows that fasting was done to commemorate an important historical event and uh, that god almighty gave victory to musa al islam and defeated pharaoh similarly in case of ramadan something really important must have happened because of which we fast for the whole month it is mentioned in quran chapter 2 verse 185 During the month of Ramadan, Quran was sent down as a guidance to the people, and as a criteria between right and wrong. So, in this holy month of Ramadan, Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam by Almighty God, and in order to commemorate that important historical event, we fast for the whole month of Ramadan. And what is Quran? Quran is the book of God. Quran is Hudan lin nas, which means it is the guidance for the whole of mankind, which includes Muslims, non-Muslims, Jews, Christians, Hindus, atheists, or people from any religion. Quran is the guidance for all of them, and Quran is Al Furqan. Al before Furqan shows that it is a definite noun, which means. Quran is the only way to know what is right and what is wrong there is no other way now we will talk about the night of decree it is mentioned in quran chapter 97 verse 1 to 5 indeed we have sent this quran on the night of decree and what will make you realize what the night of decree is the night of decree is better than a thousand months that night angels and spirit descend by the permission of their lord for every matter it is peace until rising of the dawn so this night of decree or lailatul qadr is better than a thousand months which is equivalent to 83 years so this one night is better than the whole lifetime and in this night the holy quran was revealed so how to find this night in the holy month of ramadan it is mentioned in sahih al bukhari hadith number 2017 narrated by hazrat aisha radhiyallahu anha that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said search for the night of decree in the odd nights of the last 10 days of ramadan this means it's either 21st night or 23rd Twenty fifth, twenty seventh, or twenty ninth, twenty ninth. So out of these five odd nights, one of them is night of decree or Laila Tul Qadar. So we have reached the end of our discussion. Here is the first quiz. The question is. how many times the blessed month of ramadan is mentioned in the holy quran by name option a 1 option b 5 option c 12 option d 
option E 30. Please write the option which you think is correct and in the comment section. In the next video, I will tell you the answer for this quiz along with some information related to this quiz and will also bring another new quiz, inshallah. In the end, we make dua to Almighty God. Oh God, please accept this work. Please forgive us if we have done any mistake. Please give barakat in this work. Please accept all of our duas. Please forgive all of our sins. And please make us of those few people. Allahumma amin. With this, I thank all of you for watching this video. Please take care. Till next video, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.